Hi guys and what's up? So steak is a cut of meat available in beef or in pork but not in chicken. So what we're gonna make today is a pepper based chicken breast with half mushroom sauce. And because it resembles the recipe of a steak, we're gonna call it a chicken steak. So here I have two thick chicken breasts. I'm going to slice it down in between with a knife. But if you have a kitchen hammer, you can hammer it down to make it thinner instead. Now that it's all in a bowl, it's the time for marination. That's about 1 tablespoon of mayonnaise. Mayo is to soften the chicken. Then goes 1 teaspoon mustard sauce, 1 teaspoon garlic paste or the garlic powder, 1 and a half tablespoon of onion paste or the onion powder, half a teaspoon of white vinegar, half a tablespoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce, half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, 2 teaspoon of chili flakes, but that's as per your taste or your tolerance for chili and one tablespoon butter. Now nicely massage the spices into the chicken and let it sit in a corner to marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes. So first we prepare the stir fry veggies for which I'm going to turn on my grilling pan on a hot flame, smear some olive oil to it. I have one carrot and some green beans. I'll cut off the edges of the green beans and cut my carrots to julienne's. Now because the carrots are so thin, they cook faster on the pan. So you keep it on high flame, it cooks faster and remove it just before it gets too soft. We want the vegetables a little crispy here. So just for that one minute, don't take off your eyes from the pan, add some salt and pepper for seasoning and continuously stir it. Take it out in a plate and it's time to cook the chicken. Now turn your flame to low before you cook the chicken. I'm adding the salt just before grilling the chicken on the grilling pan because this is served as a dry dish and we wanted to avoid the salt releasing the water during marination. Now mix the salt well, lay the chicken on the grilling pan nicely. Uh, without wasting the spices, put the spices on the chicken pan. It's going to dry over time anyways and cook it for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, quickly, let's prepare the mashed potatoes. I'm cutting a whole potato to tiny bits so it cooks faster in the water. Now the kind of potato you use for a mashed potato is really important. This kind of potato is what is used for a mash and it's available in most supermarkets. On the bag of the potato, it would be mentioned what it's used for, for example if it's used for roast or a mash or blah blah blah. Now let's collect all the potato in the cold water and put it for boiling. While both my burners are burning, let's prepare the ingredients for our mushroom sauce. So I'm cutting some white button mushrooms, half an onion, a clove of garlic and some fresh parsley leaves. Smashing the garlic like that before chopping it gives it some flavors and it's also considered to be healthy in some parts of the world. Parsley is like a cousin to coriander leaf but milder and grassy. It's a good addition to chicken steaks. Let's check if one side of the steak is cooked. Wow, that's a nice brown. Let's flip over all the chicken steaks and cook the other side for 10 minutes. Now that's my chicken nicely done, it's also coated with all the spices so I'm going to serve it on a plate and use the same pan to make the mushroom sauce. Now I want to use the juices of the chicken that is stuck to this pan. So turn on the flame high before you drop the mushrooms in it. Also do not add the salt at this point as mushrooms cook on low flame especially with the salt can make the mushroom sweat and make it extremely soggy. Now this is not fun to eat. So continuously stirring the mushrooms until it becomes a nice brown and crisp. Now to this, I'm going to add the chopped onions, the garlic and cook the onions to a nice brown. This is turning a nice brown. Add half a teaspoon of crushed pepper. Now you can add the salt to this. About half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce. Half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. And some finely chopped parsley. 
Stir this until you smell the nice flavors of the spices and then go ahead and add the chicken stock to this. Now you can also add the red wine to it but chicken stock will just do fine. As it comes to boil, add some corn flour mixed with water and allow it to come to a nice sauce like consistency. Now for those of you who like it spicy, enjoy this hot and spicy mushroom sauce. But for those of you who like it creamy, add about 1 tablespoon of fresh cream to this. Allow it to amalgamate with the rest of the sauce and then enjoy this nice mushroom sauce. You can check out in my video section on how to make a chicken stock. I make both the skin stock and the bone stock. Quickly before the sauce cools down, let's make our mashed potatoes. So strain the really hot potato pieces and mash it in a bowl using a flat spoon. Now add some butter and some salt to this and mash it again. Now this requires a hell a lot of butter. So go ahead and add as much as it requires. Use the heat from the potato to break down the butter and the salt. So it's really important you make the mash while the potato is still hot. As it nicely mashed, add some crushed pepper to this and to give it a nice creamy texture, add some milk to it and mix it well until it gives a nice creamy mashed potatoes. Now serve this in the plate with the steak and let's enjoy our chicken steak with hot mushroom sauce. So for those of you who like my videos, like, subscribe, comment and share it.